one rabbit was just equivalent to one cow. Really, nigga? Yes, guys. One rabbit is equal to one cow. You want to know how? Stick with me throughout the video so that you can clear your doubts about that and so that you can learn something new today. I'm going to discuss how rabbit earns you more than cows. And the first thing to look at is breeding. Now, breeding, look at the breeding period of a rabbit. The breeding period of a rabbit is way too short compared to a cow. For the rabbits, you have six liters. Six liters, and in one liter, you can have one up to 14 bunnies. Bunnies are animals. Now, let's look at the, let's look at the mating. Mating in rabbits, rabbits can mate almost throughout the year. Oh my God! Each and every time, like, they are usually active throughout the year. But for proper breeding, you must wait for some time after the animal gives birth. After the animal gives birth, you wait for 21 to 28 days so that you can service the dough again. So, another thing about mating is that uh, 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 a mature doe, a, a doe becomes mature for servicing when it reaches five to six months of age. And one buck can uh, service or can be able to mate with 10 does, maximum of 12. Buck is a, is a male rabbit. And the productive period of a rabbit is up to three years. After three years, the production starts to decrease over time. Oh, hell no! The gestation period of a rabbit is 28 to 32 days and uh, uh, a rabbit can give birth to one up to 14 bunnies. These are the case for the New Zealand white and the California. These are breeds of rabbit which are best reared for meat. Uh, 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 the, the doe can become pregnant six times and it can give you six liters. And per liter we have said that you can have one to 14 bunnies. Mothering is looking at the, how the doe is raising the bunnies. And you must have a, a doe that that have a good mothering ability so that you can be able to reach your productive goals. In the cage where the doe is staying, it needs a nest where it will get its fur out and lay it all over so that um, it can come now and give birth uh, on that fur. So that because the, the bunnies are, are given birth to without the ability of maintaining their internal body temperatures. So the fur that the mother removes and keep and puts it all over the nest is to accommodate uh, for the temperature buildup for the, these young ones. Another thing is that these, the bunnies are too delicate. Don't touch on, uh, on them each and every time. Just handle them whenever there is need. When they are, whenever there is need about foster mothering. Foster mothering is where you, where you take a bunny from its biological mother and you give it to a foster mother. So this happens when, for example, uh, let's, uh, uh, we all know that a, a doe have eight teeth, four on this side and four on the other side, lined up on the, on the, along the length of the body. And for example, we see that there is a doe that have given birth to six to six bunnies and another has given birth to two bunnies so what you are going to do so that you can save on cost you're going to take the two the two bunnies from from the door uh, from that door and you are gonna you are going to transfer them to the door that have six bunnies now they will be, be eight eight bunnies now the eight bunnies will be able to feed without much struggle because each bunny will be able to to feed on its own teeth. So if you're doing foster mothering, don't give, don't take, for example, if one do have uh, seven bunnies, you cannot add another two because there is only eight teeth. Bunnies are weaned at five weeks. At five weeks, they are separated from their mother. Now, on this slide, I'm going to discuss about the meat production, guys. And here is where the difference is so evident when it comes to how a rabbit earns you more than a cow. Why the weight gain? The weight gain per year in rabbits, one dog can give you an equivalent weight gain compared to a cow. Wait a minute! In meat production, uh, we are going to look at the, the best rabbit meat producers are the New Zealand white and the California rabbit. They have very good genes for accumulating muscles and they are able to reach a weight of one, um, 
2.5 kgs in 120 days, guys. Oh my god! Wow! Let's look at the meat quality. Meat quality, these are the components that are found in meat. The meat components that are so good for our health are the protein component, there's fats, there's cholesterol. These drink these things, three things are the most. Uh, that are used in the uh, for standardizing the quality of meat and if you look at the proteins the rabbit meat has the highest Ooh. protein compared to all the other types of meat the, also the meat from the rabbits has the lowest fat and it has the lowest cholesterol and it is also white meat so what does this imply? This implies that the meat from the rabbit is so nutritious especially for people who are dealing with obesity nice and what do we look when you're eating it we look at the proteins that is what we are, we are usually look, uh, going for now in the next slide i'm going to explain you this that point the third my third tick on the slide and that is how one rabbit is equals to one cow i'm going to explain some calculations <coughs> but guys it's not hard i know best most of us are we are not good in maths Yeah, but it's it's a simple calculation. Now I'm going to explain how one rabbit is equals to one cow. On my screen, as you can see, I hope uh, 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 you can read my handwriting. Is one dough is equals to six liters a year. That means that it will give six. It will give birth six times. And one, in one liter, you can have uh, 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 one to 14 bunnies. But I have decided to use 10. And the four will cater for maybe diseases, maybe the maybe the prolific acidate, maybe the, the dough will not give the 14 due to some natural uh, 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 entities and whatever. So I have decided to use 10. So in one liter, we will be expecting 10 bunnies on average. Therefore, one dough is equals to 60 bunnies per year and the selling weight we are selling our uh, uh, our rabbits at 2.5 kg that is at 120 after 120 days the total weight from all bunnies or the weight gain in that year will be 2.5 you multiply by the 60 and you will get 150 kgs now remember you have not added the weight of the bunnies of the first liter those bunnies that are given birth at that time are after they attain an age of four months they will give birth uh, they will be able to be serviced and they can give birth therefore the estimated weight can go up to 200 kgs per year from that one do <laughs> from our original do which has given birth to the young ones those young ones have given birth to other young ones one jersey calf at birth is 20 uh, average from 27 to 40 kgs and one year old jersey bull will weigh about 231 kgs on average so what does that mean when you take the 231 minus the 40 kg for, for the 40 kgs those are the initials you'll find that you have uh, around uh, 170 so due to this uh, 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 comparison in the weight gain per year you will find that rabbits are more easier to rear and they are more easier to carry a long way they, they need a small space they have lesser diseases and if you were to choose between a cow or a rabbit for me i will go for a rabbit because it's in terms of meat production rabbits are way more profitable because the first their meat is of high quality and and the the, the 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 level of production the level of production is high and the level of maintenance maintenance is low now let's move on to the next feeding i have divided it in the into commercial farming what is commercial feeding if you're keeping your rabbit especially for sale you must be you must feed them high 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 quality feed but if you're keeping them for subsistence you can feed them on other substitutes for example the carrots the green leaves the bran the grains you can substitute it, substitute as them as feed for your rabbits but if it's for commercial you want to attain the 2.5 kgs in 
in 120 days, you must be able to have high quality feed so that you can be able to reach that that, 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 that weight in that time and you can be able to sell off your rabbits and you'll get you'll get the profits compared to that of the subsistent feeding. What happens in subsistent farming, many farmers are keep the rabbits for their the consumption at their at their homes so for the water. Water it uh, should be available to the rabbits at all times. This means that the best way is you have a tank, then you can, uh, from the tank, you connect the pipes that pass all through the cages of the, these rabbits, then there's a drip at each cage where the, uh, the, uh, the rabbit can go and suck the, 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 the water. This will, this will make sure that it makes fast, it makes your work easier uh, so that you don't have to go and adding water each and every time you just have to add ones or at the tank another thing it keeps the it keeps the the, the 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 cage dry and it keeps it tidy to prevent other diseases and to prevent stress another thing is the feeding program feeding program is the uh, amount of feed that you are supposed to give to your dome one dry dome should be given 120 grams per day but a dough that have suckling bunnies should be given 180 kg uh, from the dry dough to the dough that is suckling you can see there is a range of 60 grams so this means that the 60 grams are catering for the the milk that the young ones are suckling from the from the mother dough after the bunnies have started feeding the same feed as their mother you will now you will, you will add uh, some 20 grams and it will be 200 grams per day so that the dough will be full and the and the bunnies will also feed another thing is the at the selling point as you approach the selling point you're going to feed 140 grams uh, per rabbit per day make sure that your feeds if you're formulating your own feeds make sure that you know the sources to where you are getting your ingredients so that you can be not buy the low quality ingredients for formulating your feed this will this will lead to poor performance and you don't want to undergo uh, undergo losses anyway who likes losses no one, one likes losses guys another thing is the psychotrophy psychotrophy this is the act where rabbits eat their poop <coughs> This is because at the at the at, in their digestive system there's a, an organ called the cecum. The cecum is able to is able to synthesize some nutrients, but in the cecum there is no ways of absorbing these nutrients, so they are passed out through through poop. And so the, the rabbits are adapted that they can feed back these 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 droppings, and they they now when the droppings pass again through the digestive system, the nutrients can be absorbed. On this side. I'm going to discuss about the housing, uh, the housing of a, a rabbit. Now, how does the structure look like? The most standard, standardized uh, 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 way of building it is where you have four posts, then the cage is suspended on this on these poles, and the cage is uh, the base of the cage is usually mesh, and the sides are also mesh. Why? The base is usually mesh so that it can allow the urine and the poop to pass through. And this will allow the cage to, to uh, remain clean. Another thing about the housing is the measurements. First of all, what you must know about the measurements, the, the, the cage of a rabbit must be four to five times its own size. For the younger ones, uh, you can build a 24 inches by 36 inches cage. But for the older ones, for the larger rabbits, you, you are supposed to measure at 30 inches by 36 inches so another thing you must know is about the ventilation that is why we are using the mesh so for the for proper ventilation uh, when you use the mesh there will be exchange of air from the inside to the outside so housing prevents prevents the rabbits from from parasites it prevents them from from other dangers from theft rabbits cannot be put on the ground their structure must be raised above the ground why because rabbits have uh, usually burrow and they can they can penetrate in, uh, into the ground and come out from uh, on the other side on this side uh, i'm going to discuss the parasite parasite diseases and their control the most common 
parasite that affects the rabbit is the fleas. The fleas usually suck blood from the from the rabbit and uh, this will bring a negative effect. First of all, it will have stress on the animal and it, it will also it can also transmit diseases. So fleas must be eliminated. Therefore your rabbits to perform well you must put them away you must put the pest away from the from the rabbits and for the for the fleas you can use the dusting powder which is which is a pesticide that is in the form of powder another thing is coccidiosis coccidiosis is caused by a protozoan called coccidia coccidia survives in wet places so if you put the poop from the rabbit and mixes up with water this creates a good environment for the coccidia so you must for you to eradicate and to prevent the coccidia from your rabbit you must keep the, the the cage dry at every time another thing about coccidiosis you have it affects the younger stock and for the older ones they are only carriers carriers meaning the coccidia is in them but is, it is not causing diseases but it can be transmitted so what you do is you call off if you compare farming of the rabbits and the cows you are going to see that rabbits are way more easier because they, they need little space, they, are, they have low feeding rate, there is low diseases and parasites that attack them, and they are gaining weight at a faster rate, they have a, a shorter breeding period. All these are advantages. Why a rabbit is more and more profitable than a cow. So guys, please hit the like button if this video has been educative. Please hit the subscribe button and also comment in the comment section below please visit our agribusiness insider website so that you can download some agricultural ebooks so thank you guys for watching the video see you next time